Hey, sweaty gamers! Valve is going to make it impossible for you to enjoy video games. Now remember a couple of months ago when we talked about Valve and how they were experimenting with different types of controllers for the Steam Box? Well, last week at the Neuro Gaming Conference and Expo, Valve's in-house experimental psychologist, Mike Ambender, spoke about the different types of biometrics Valve is trying to implement into future games. And uh, yes, Valve has an experimental psychologist on staff. Let that sink in. Currently, video games can't gauge a player's emotional state. If you're bored, the gameplay isn't going to speed up, and if you're scared, the gameplay isn't going to slow down. Yet. See, Valve has been playing with biometric feedback inputs to determine how nervous, calm, or excited a player is while playing a game. What are they using to measure these levels? Sweat. Specifically, the pH levels found in a player sweat gathered via skin conductance. Currently, Valve has been testing the biofeedback devices with Left 4 Dead, specifically timed missions where you have to kill 100 zombies in four minutes, and if you're nervous, the timer speeds up, and if you're calm, the timer stays the same. Though no word on how the Teletubby mod affected the biofeedback. And it's not just moist, hot gamer sweat the folks at Valve are interested in. They want to experiment with your heart, body temperature, and facial expressions. They even started playing with eye control. That's right, there's currently a version of Portal 2 running internally that allows you to control the aim on your portal gun just by looking at the spot where you want to hit. According to Valve, it works really well, but takes some getting used to, which also probably means it's pretty far from being released publicly, so don't expect to see it anytime soon. See what I did there? You know, C, because eyeballs. Hoy. But this isn't the first time biofeedback controllers have been tried. A couple of E3s ago, Nintendo proudly trotted out its vitality sensor that never saw the light of day. And way back in 1984, Atari proudly trotted out the MindLink controller that would let you control 2600 games with your brain that also never saw the light of day. But hey, maybe the time is right for biofeedback controllers to actually get released to the mass market, and maybe Valve is the company to do it. What do you guys think? Let me know below. And while we're on the subject of gaming, make sure to check out today's episode of Soldier's Tech Battlefield, where Mark Watson pits Android versus iOS to find out which platform offers the best mobile gaming experience. Also, don't forget about the Google Hangout Annie and I are doing a week from today on May 14th. More details and a link to the event page will be in the show notes below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying if I were a betting man, I'd say Valve's biometric controllers will be done right around the same time as Half-Life 2 Episode 3. And if you've been paying attention, probably never gonna come out. Just talking about it. That's what Gabe Newell does. He's a big talker. Big eater, too. Hungry boy. Hey, sweaty gamers! Valve is gonna make it impossible for you to settle. Currently, Valve has been testing the biofeedback. Bio Currently, Valve has been testing the biofeedback devices with Left 4 Dead. Currently, Valve has been testing the. I almost heard that. Heard that. Three, two. Currently, oh god, it! You fucked it up. Totally did. Here we go. Three, two.